Imagine two people walking along together. If one stumbles, the other one is there to lift him up, to keep him from stumbling. Rarely do two people stumble at the same time. And it's the same way with going through life. When you're going through life with a companion or a group of friends, if you fall into temptation, if you fall into despair or to depression, chances are the other person isn't going through that at the same time. They're able to lift you up. And that's why we need to go through life in the companionship of other people. Not only that, secondly, companionship offers support when we feel alone. Look at verse 11. Furthermore, if two lie down together, they keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? I admit, that sounds a little kinky, <laughs> you know, two people lying down and huddling together to keep warm. He's not talking about body temperature here. What he's talking about is those cold times of life that you experience. All of us experience them. Maybe the move to a new city or the beginning of a new job or the death of a loved one. During those cold moments of life, you need a companion to provide warmth. Remember the Old Testament story of Ruth and Naomi? Ruth had suffered the loss of her husband and uh, her mother-in-law, Naomi, was also a widow. And after Ruth's husband died, Naomi said, you need to move back in with your parents and find yourself a husband. Ruth wouldn't hear of it. She needed Naomi and she believed her mother-in-law needed her as well. And one of the most beautiful passages of all of the Bible, Romans 1, 16, Ruth said to Naomi, do not entreat me to leave you or to keep me from following after you. For where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. Your God, my God. During that cold time of her life, Ruth knew she needed the warmth of her mother-in-law. 